We're talking today with Aspen Group. Uh, the company owns and operates properties in the affordable accommodation sector. It's a provider of quality accommodation on competitive terms in the residential, retirement and park communities. It's got an ASX code of APZ and a market cap of 344 million. We're joined by the company managing director, John Carter. John, welcome to the studio. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Tim. It's great to be here. And, and John, for those uh, investors that don't know Aspen Group, can you give us a, an introduction? Yeah, so Aspen targets um, the 40% of Australian households that uh, can only afford $400 or a maximum of $400 a week in rent or to pay $400,000 um, for a home. And so there's been major changes in the macro. I just want to talk about that target market. We've had rising interest rates. Um, we've obviously got some inflation and other issues. How, how's the macro picture uh, affected your target market? Yeah, so look, I think the, the pressure on people is, is even greater. Um, so there's more cost of living pressures happening at the moment. Um, so the demand, you know, the demand for our product is is even greater than normal. Um, we've got, you know, massive, massive interest in our residential and massive uh, queues for that. And in the retirement, um, the retirement side, uh, again, people are able to sell, sell their house and get some cash when they buy. Um, and I think sort of on the on the holiday side, um, it's early days, but we still think um, there's there's reasonable demand for our sort of affordable holiday product as well. I was going to ask you about that. You, you kind of you you got five thousand dwellings. I was going to ask you about your your portfolio of assets. You've had a good result, strong revenue, and high margins. Is this likely to continue in a, a rising interest rate environment? Look, we we certainly think the residential is very strongly underpinned. There's increased um, immigration which is supporting rents. Um, there's no sign of rents you know, going down. In fact, we, we believe rents will continue over the next few years to, to be supported and grow. There's very limited ability to add to supply in the short term as well. So um, residential looks, you know, which is the biggest part of our portfolio, looks strong. Uh, on the retirement side as well, um, it's supported by the pension. Um, that's being indexed in general to inflation. So the, our customers are only paying $180 a week. Um, and so every time their rent goes up, about 75% of that is paid for by the government. And can you talk to your, your kind of portfolio mix? I think it's uh, what 36% is in kind of the parks community, 16% or so in the retirement community. Are you happy with that mix? Yeah, we don't, we don't really target a mix. Um, what we're looking for is, is assets which have, you know, great opportunities for us to um, deliver the product to our customers. Um, generally, that's been uh, by finding brownfield assets that we can add value to. Um, over the next period of time, um, we've got 50% in residential. Over the next period of time, when we complete those projects, um, there'll be a lot of growth in the residential side for us. And the motel business, you acquired an asset in Marimbula. Can you talk about how that fits into your portfolio? Yeah, so look, we haven't acquired a tourism asset for a while. Um, that opportunity was, was uh, a great one for us because it's right across the road from Twin Waters, which is an existing asset. Um, by combining those two, we think there'll be good synergies and we think we'll get a stabilised return of over 8%. Um, it's in a location where longer term the land value will be very high. Um, there's a lot of uh, you know, very good water views from both properties. And, and can you talk through your kind of development pipeline and what role that plays with Aspen? Yeah, so we target roughly 20% of our earnings to come from development. Um, there's two components of that, um, retirement homes and land that we sell. The retirement side, uh, we're expecting as we go into 24 and 25 that we'll sell more houses um, and we we build up a quite a decent pipeline of sites. Um, the residential land um, we've acquired um, typically in, in larger properties. Um, we see the, le the land as just a, a good way of recycling capital um, and again it, it, it should be uh, it should be well insulated because our price points generally sort of uh, lower than 200,000, which is a very affordable. John Carter, thanks for your time. Thank you.